Hey guys, Paul McDermott here with the Paul's Everywhere Gallery. Today I am with uh, Art and Talk, and we are bringing you your very first Viewpoint Photographers Challenge. So I'm very excited to be here. Um, basically, the way this is going to go is I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, show you a couple images, uh, reference points for the challenge that I'm going to be giving you. And spoiler alert, I'm going to ask you guys to learn how to have multiple viewpoints in your photos. So it's very appropriate. That's the viewpoint challenge. And I want to see how you guys can have different perspectives of the same exact thing. So my name is Paul McDermott and I've been a photographer since I was 14. Um, it's been my only career in life. I've had a diversity of background in photography and now I have a gallery in Fort Lauderdale. So uh, the photos I'm about to show you are going to be based off of some of the teachings that I've learned from some of the top photographers in the world, some of the top mentors I've had. Um, and I'm just going to dive right into it. So this photo right here was one of the shots that I had taken when I was in Iceland. And Iceland is famous for this black sand beach, um, the iceberg beach, where these icebergs actually crash back onto the onto the beach and they give you this effect and the glow. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, one of the things that people often miss is they get so fixated on what's in front of them, they forget about what's beside them. So this actually ended up being one of my favorite photos from that entire trip, being able to have the other viewpoint of what the same environment presented um, you know, and, and it was just magic, you know, it's like by, just by turning my head, just by turning the lens a little bit to the right, 90 degrees, I was able to have a completely different image and show a completely different aspect and, a, and tell a completely different story from the same exact environment. So being aware of your surroundings, being aware of what other opportunities are around you is one of the most important things in photography and being able to create great imagery. This is another one of my shots from Iceland. This, of course, wasn't one of my favorites, but the next one is one that really showcases what Terry Townsend, one of my mentors, has told me, which is what is the shot within the shot? So with the other one you saw, it was more zoomed out. It was more about the uh, the atmosphere showing the reflection. Um, but really, my shot was the shot within the shot. Um, so what is it that you're trying to highlight in that image and move in, get closer, change your lens, being able to get that shot and showcase it. Um, yeah, showcase it specifically, showcase exactly what you want to photograph and eliminate any of the distracting details that are within that image. Of course, you can do this through cropping, but it's always better when you can do it in camera and deliberately create the ideal image for what you want. These other ones I'm going to let roll through. This is actually a recent trip that I took to the Socorro Islands doing all underwater photography. These are all very specialized because it's about showcasing something differently. So you can see these are all photos of a manta ray, but these are all very, very different images. So whether I'm close, whether I'm far, um, the, the entire perspective of everything, looking at the lighting, looking at my angle. Um, this was one of my favorites, just being able to showcase it in black and white, um, the delicacies of the tones. Um, this being further away, being a silhouette, um, focusing on the lighting, this just a very different perspective. You know, it's while I was showcasing scuba divers, I was able to showcase the environment as well. Um, I want you guys to start thinking about all the different elements and all the different ways that you can photograph the same exact thing in a very different way. Um, how you can crop the image additionally. So that dolphin, you know, this image being very, very different, very different feel, very different intimacy. This was actually one of the coolest shots I've ever taken. This was a manta ray out of the water. Um, it was kind of reverse roles, me being underwater, him being above water. You can see the tail still in the water, but that was a manta ray jump, which is a magical experience. And this was actually one of my favorite images from the entire trip, bringing in all the different technical elements, um, the beautiful framing, beautiful posing, uh, beautiful lighting, um, the flares of color, the placement of everything within the frame um, to really make an, a beautiful and ideal image. But the whole idea being about how many different ways can you photograph the same exact thing? So we're all familiar with the um, with an apple in the room and everybody has to draw the same apple. You know, so this this challenge is basically about photographing the apple. So whatever that thing is that you want to photograph, the thing, the person, um, a creature, um, figure out different ways that you can light it, different ways you can tell the story of it, uh, of that same environment and whatever your subject matter is. I want to see three different images of that subject matter showcasing different viewpoints of that same thing. So thank you for having me, Leslie Sue. I am very much looking forward to everybody's photographs um, and giving you guys some feedback. So once again, my name is Paul McDermott. Uh, the Paul is everywhere dot com. Paul is everywhere is all of my social media. If you want to reach out, um, feel free. My email is hello at paul is everywhere dot com. Thank you guys very much.